Alright guys, I'm back to do another video here on the transistor base for you and show you guys how it works and what the knobs do using this little track that I made here. I'm also going to show you what happens when you blend transistor base with a direct wave track. So you can get the transistor base by clicking your add instrument button at the bottom and then go into transistor base there at the bottom of your instruments list. And once you click on it, it'll bring up a list of presets um, that you can choose from. I'll do short square. So just select that. And then if you don't have transistor base already, you can go to your main menu and then go over to shop and scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see uh, the transistor base and see mine says installed, but it'll give you the option to purchase. You can purchase it uh, as an add one. I suggest you get it if you want to uh, make any custom bass sounds or effects that aren't already pre-made. That being said, I'm going to skip ahead here a little bit and show you guys some of the tunes you can make with this bass rack. Plus sign to add my direct wave to my rack, which is right there highlighted in red. Um, you want to always want to make sure it's below the transistor base rack. Uh, so you click on default on direct wave, and then you got an assortment of pre-selected files there, where you could go to my files and select any of your uh, downloaded files. I'll do uh, synth key or synth lead, and I'm going to do the distorted subwoofer, and I'll. Uh, uh, that pretty much automatically adds it, you know, into the transistor base. Alright, so now that I showed you guys some of the tones you can get with the trans bass and even more how to customize the sound even further by adding the direct wave in and a whole nother sound on top of it to make it your own, I'm going to play you guys a song I've been working on for a little bit now that has the trans bass and direct wave blended together in it for my personal sound. Uh, and I'm going to play it once with the direct wave uh, rack turned off 
and just the trans bass on, and then I'll turn the direct wave on the second time I play it, so you guys can hear the difference. So I hope, the, I hope this video really helped you guys out on future projects, and thanks for watching.